The pelican population along the California coastline has increased recently. With the DDT threat gone, the number of eggs found in their breeding ground has grown from four in 1969 to a present count of 2,000 each year. The pelican is well equipped for survival in nature. He uses his long beak to fish for his favorite food, anchovies. But unfortunately, pelicans are not shy birds. They accept handouts from humans eagerly, and close contact with people has resulted in this. Curator of birds, Dr. Frank Todd, SeaWorld, San Diego. And these birds, as you can see, are, are essentially not afraid of men. They're very inexperienced, very naive, and they're the ones that tend to get into the most trouble, mainly because they don't recognize man as a major problem. At the Crown Valley Animal Hospital in Laguna Niguel, California, 10 of the main birds are being cared for. Some of the birds are so seriously injured, there's no hope at all, even of fitting them with a the special artificial beak developed here. For some, however, there is hope. The heartless individual who removed their beaks left enough of it intact for this to take place. A man-made beak for a man-injured bird. It was invented by Terry Baylor. This is the mold. The mold is made of a hard urethane uh, tooling material. And, uh, of course, it, it was made right over the real beak. And uh, it's split down the middle so you can, you can get the uh, fiberglass beak out. It fits together just like that. Now the time has come to fit the beak to the bird. The operation is in the hands of Dr. Robert Brooks. The first patient was a six-month-old pelican the hospital staff had given the appropriate name of Pinocchio. The artificial beak is inserted into a specially prepared base in the live beak, and it's held by strong epoxy glue and 14 screws. And this is Pinocchio today, showing off his new nose job. The plight of Pinocchio the pelican caught the attention of local school children who raised money to help defer the cost of surgery and the daily care of the birds. One boy suggested that the person who hurt the birds should be fined $5 million and spend a year in J-E-L-L. -L. According to that drawing, he means J-A-I-L, and I'm with him. Pinocchio, the first pelican to be fitted with an artificial beak, has yet to face the supreme test of his release back to the wild, but you've seen him because you asked for it.